The most important step in any finance problem is identifying what type of problem it is so that we make sure that we're using the correct formula. Uh, so let's look at a set of scenarios and see if we can identify the type of equation, uh, or the type of problem that we're looking at. So, Marcy receives an inheritance of $20,000 and invested it at 6% interest. She's gonna use it for college, withdrawing money, uh, for tuition and expenses each quarter. How much can she take out each quarter? if she has three years of schools left. So, the important things here are, first off, that we are... she's taking out money each quarter. So she's not just doing it once, which would suggest compound interest, she's doing it every quarter. Since she's making regular withdrawals, we know that this has to be some sort of an annuity-type problem. Because she's taking money out, we know that this must be a payout annuity. The other clue here is that the money that she has, she has at the beginning, not at the end. So she has money at the beginning, she's taking it out regularly, that's a payout annuity. Okay, let's look at another one. Paul wants to buy a new car. Rather than take out a loan, he decides to save $200 a month in an account earning 3% interest compounded monthly. Uh, how much will he have saved up after three years? So it's important here to notice that this is not taking out a loan. That's just sort of a distractor. But in fact, he is... what is he doing? He is saving money, and he's saving money every month. So again, this is happening regularly, so we know that this has to be an annuity-type problem, uh, because it's happening regularly. Uh, and he is saving money, which means the account is gonna grow in value. And so this is a classic savings annuity problem. Okay, Keisha is managing investments for a non-profit company. They want to invest some money in an account earning 5% interest compounded annually with the goal to have $30,000 in the account in six years. How much should Keisha invest into the, uh, deposit into the account? So notice here she's depositing money into the account, but it's only a one-time deposit. They're not going to be making month, uh, either annual or monthly deposits. They're just putting money in once and letting it sit. So because the money is just sitting there earning interest, this is uh, a compound interest problem. So this is compound interest problem. Okay, Meow is going to finance new office equipment at a 2% rate over a four-year term. If she can afford monthly payments of $100, how much new equipment can she buy? So she's financing at a 2% rate over a four-year term. She's gonna make monthly payments. Uh, so because we're making monthly payments, uh, it looks like we're going to be taking out a loan. And in fact, the word finance is often indicates the fact that this is indeed a loan. Uh, she's making payments. They're regularly monthly payments, and so this must be a loan-type problem. Okay, how much would you need to save every month in an account earning 4% interest to have $5,000 saved up in two years? So let's look. We're saving money every month, so again, we know that this is some sort of annuity-type problem. We're saving money. That certainly suggests that this is a savings annuity. Uh, and we want to have $5,000 in two years, so this is just telling us that the amount we have in two years is gonna be 5000 uh, but this is indeed a savings annuity.